It started the, the night of October 30th. Several miles to the south and to the west of, of the Onion Creek area in the Onion Creek watershed, there was about a 12 to 14 inch rainfall there. And that, that rainfall, that water began to move through the watershed and into Austin. So we, we didn't anticipate it, we didn't know that it was coming, and it really did catch us by surprise. What we found in, in, uh, in the 2013 Halloween flood in Onion Creek was that uh, there's still areas where we can improve. And that, that has to do with the predictive analysis. In other words, being able to accurately predict what, what the threat is uh, before it gets on top of our residents and our citizens. And in some cases, our first responders. Flooding is the largest natural disaster that people face. It costs more money and it takes more lives than any other form of natural disaster that's faced in the United States or elsewhere. The National Flood Interoperability Experiment um, is designed to develop the next generation of flood forecasting system for the United States. That's connecting the National Flood Forecasting System with local emergency response. What we're trying to do is to build up the actionable intelligence that can be created at that time and perhaps even forecast floods before the rain starts to fall. We want to first of all simulate the flow on all the streams and rivers of the nation simultaneously and that means a continuously functioning hydrology model over the whole continental United States. That'll be continuously running and continuously being updated. Initially we get the the flow levels that are coming out of the model and then we visualize them through the web browser so that people can see what the flows are and what they're predicted to be. The technology enables us to have something very complex running on Azure in the cloud, in the background, while the person in front is sitting there using whatever it is that they're comfortable working with. We have programmers on the team who have been doing the work with Microsoft Azure. They took a two-day training program and they were pretty pleased that they were able to get Repeat going, um, which is the Streamflow model that we're working with. And they'll be able to scale that up as we need different virtual machines in the future. And that's what we really love about the cloud is that we can bring them in and send them away as we need them. And when we're going to be having a flood situation developing, we've got to be able to have that super fast capability, bring in lots of virtual machines, and then let them go when we're done. What's really unique about this is we're bringing together the, the big data sets, the geospatial information, but also the weather information, and then computing on that to give the answers out really quickly. And this hasn't been done before in a real, real-time scenario. There's a lot of work that's been done after the fact looking at how the modeling could happen, but applying it so that users, end users, can be prepared ahead of time is a really unique uh, situation. And that's what the power of not only technology and the cloud actually enables, and it's being seen in this situation. Here in academia, we teach, we do our clever things for research and so on, but we're not often called upon to do things for the nation. But this is a chance for the academic community to show not simply what we think, but what we can do. And we have tremendous resources in the academic community and with our partners such as Microsoft uh, Research to be able to create a new future for the country. Dr. Mavent calls it an experiment, I call it a proof of concept. Putting them together using the knowledge and the science along with the, the boots on the ground, first responder capabilities has a synergistic effect. That, that one will be a force multiplier for the other. And so if we can work on, on this experiment, this proof of concept, and develop a template that, that any agency across the nation could use to, to lay that over their threat and risk analysis for their community and better prepare themselves, we're all much better off.